What's going on guys? So this is one video that I never thought I would ever have the opportunity to make because the fragrances have always kind of made me a little nervous because they're known to be earthy vetiver fragrances. For those that like earthy vetivers, they're supposedly some of the best bargains in men's fragrances because all three of these can kind of be found in the $30 range from discounters online. I am talking about the Ancre Noir from Lilique line, and I did not know these were coming. Uh, shout outs to Christopher, Christopher Moore, and uh, he decided to take it upon himself to send me decants of all three. So I guess we can finally put it to bed. Are these for me? Are these not for me? So we're going to spray them on skin. We're going to see what they smell like. See what my final verdict ends up being. Stay tuned. So I guess it only makes sense to start with the original. So here we go, Ancre Noir. It's a full decant too. So I don't have anything on my arms or anything. So, And oddly enough, this is the most ironic thing about it, is I pull this bubble mailer out the mailbox. I'm wearing Raja Parfum's Vetiver Parfum Cologne today. <laughs> I just happen to be wearing a Vetiver fragrance, which is one of the very few Vetivers I enjoy because it's more of the clean, fresh, woody type of Vetiver. That's the kind of Vetivers I enjoy. So I've heard these are earthy. I like earthy tones, but not earthy vetivers. So I don't know. We'll see. Two good sprays. Give it a second. Let's see what we're working with. We'll pull the notes up here in just a minute. But let's see. Maybe I've been worried about nothing and they're amazing. Uh, we're about to find out, I guess. Okay, it's not that bad. Definitely very woody. It's a very woody smell. I'm assuming the vetiver is making it very woody. It's not bad. Maybe I've been worried about nothing. It's not that earthy. Slightly. Very slightly earthy, but not bad. It actually smells of pretty good quality, too, to be completely honest with you. Maybe I've been worried about nothing. I don't know. The Ally Extreme is really going to tell that tale. So far, so good. Maybe I need to get a bottle of this. Actually enjoying it. A little smoky, a little earthy. Not as bad as I anticipated because some vetivers, to be honest, and some geraniums smell like roach spray on my skin. Certain ones do. They just do. It's weird. My skin chemistry and certain vetivers and certain geraniums just react a certain way. Is this blowing me away? No. Do I feel like it's, oh my God, I have to get a bottle of this? No. Maybe at some point. I don't know. More sprays, you never know. It's okay, though. It's better than I thought. I'm going to put it that way. It's better than I thought. It's a little bit of an orangey type of smell. Very woody, though. That's the main thing. Let's pull up. These notes, Fragrantica, Main Accords, let's see, Uncre Noir, okay, Woody, Aromatic, Earthy, Musky, that's fair. So according to Fragrantica, the top note is Cypress, the mid note is Vetiver, the base note is cash, base notes are Cashmere, Wood, and Musk. It doesn't come across really green to me though, I'm kind of surprised that Cypress is a note that's in here. It's more so around the muskiness, the wood, and the vetiver. Like, the cypress is more supportive, I think, than anything else. But it actually is quite nice. I ha I don't know. I have a feeling if this was one where I was to put five, like, big sprays, not little decant sprays from a tiny little stem like this, but five full sprays, I think I might enjoy it even more than I'm currently enjoying it. Because it is nice. I Like, if I had to throw a number at this one, 
just based off of this short time with it, I would say for sure it's like a 6 to 6.5 out of 10. Slightly better than good, you know. Um, better than I thought, for sure. Uh, but it, it doesn't, it's not, it's not wowing me or anything like that. Like, oh my God, I've been completely mistaken. The thing that's surprising me and that, that I'm thankful for is that it doesn't come across kind of funky on my skin. Cypress is coming in a little bit more. There's a little bit more of a minty green freshness to it. As it's settling, I'm smelling more of what I would believe to be a cypress note. So not bad at all. Actually, not bad at all. So far, this is the one to beat. We're going to save a la extreme for last. Let's check out Sport. So here we go. Ancre Noir Sport. The blue juice. We're not going to pull the notes up or anything yet. I just want to spray it, smell it, see what I think, and then we'll take a look at the notes. Two good sprays. I'm give it a second. I'm not going to breathe through my nose just yet. Let's kind of fan this off. I've always assumed this would be the one I would like of the three. So it's got that kind of dill pickle vibe going for it. Slight. It's like a bergamot. Bergamot can do that sometimes with vetiver. This is definitely a lot fresher. And it definitely does speak to me more. I do like this one a little bit more. I can tell you right now this one's a 7 out of 10. Just based off of these first couple sniffs. I like this one a lot more. So that little touch of dill is fading pretty quickly. It's still, I still smell it, but it's not in the forefront. It's, it's there, but it's kind of dropped to the background a little bit. It's definitely fresher. It's a little bit more soapy. The other one's not soapy. Yeah, I don't find Ancre Noir to be soapy, but Sport is a little soapy. Just a little bit. I wouldn't be surprised if there's lavender in here just a little bit because it's got a bit of an aromatic feel here. But it's lighter overall. This is a much more easygoing fragrance. This is a fresher vetiver. This is definitely, this is definitely one I would like. Still not necessarily convinced that I need to have it, but uh, so far that would be the one for me. So let's, uh, so I got the page pulled up. Let me scroll down and let's go to sport. Woody aromatic, citrus, fresh, spicy, earthy, aquatic, and musky are the main accords. So notes of grapefruit, bergamot, and nutmeg in the top. Okay. Mid notes of cypress, watery notes, and lavender. There you go. Base notes, bourbon vetiver, Haitian vetiver, cashmere wood, and musk. So I definitely got the bergamot mixed with the watery notes and the lavender and the vetiver. Maybe that's what was giving me that smell, but it's definitely lighter. The watery notes make sense here. It does have a very fresh feel to it. Still a very woody-based fragrance. Like, it still comes across very woody to me. Was that the main accord still? Yeah, woody. Yeah, absolutely. Still comes across very woody. So the accord list makes sense because the aquatic tone to it is faint, but there and detectable. It's on the weaker side of the main accords. Woody, that's the main thing. Woody and aromatic with a little bit of citrus. I think these accords are ranked accordingly. For what I'm smelling, I definitely like this one more than the original. Absolutely. This would be the one that I think, this was always my assumption. If there was one for me to get a bottle of, I always assumed it was Ancre Noir Sport, and I think that's still the case. Now that I'm getting to smell them, it is the one that kind of suits me a little bit. I'm enjoying this one. This I may have to get a bottle of. Yeah, 7 out of 10 is a good number for it. Very, very fresh, and it's becoming more and more watery. These watery notes are kind of rearing their head a bit more. The lavender has been pronounced, but not the main note the entire time like it's not super soapy it's just a little bit a little soapy and aromatic but enough to where i smell the lavender the whole way through here but it's still very very woody this one's actually very nice yeah Ancre noir sport this is the one to beat this is definitely the one i think i need a bottle of but let's check out the one that makes me the most nervous let's check out a la extreme okay here we go Ancre noir I don't know if it's going to want to focus. There we go. LA Extreme. Full decant. 
we are going to spray on the wrist. Two good sprays. We'll give it a second. I haven't pulled the notes up yet or anything. So far, uh, the one to beat is Sport. This one, as long as it's not super earthy, I'll like it. So far, I'm good with them. This is dark, a little inky, if that makes sense. It's got kind of a dark ink vibe. Have you ever smelled ink before? Like where you have to actually dab it into the ink to write? Or the uh, refillable replacements for a fountain pen, which I have had. I do have a decent amount of experience with a fountain pen. Um, it's got a little bit of an ink smell. This one doesn't come across too earthy either, to be honest with you. I've been wrong about all three. I can admit when I was wrong. I assumed without trying. And this goes into, you, won't, you don't know for sure unless you try it on your skin. If you're going to like it, if you're not going to like it, how is it going to react? Honestly, this is stunning. This is an 8 out of 10 fragrance. It's stunning. I still think the safer play for me is Ancre Noir Sport. But the Ala Extreme. This is lovely. This is dark, mysterious. This is kind of a, a little bit of a showstopper, if you will, for the $30 price bracket. I'm very impressed here. Very, very impressed. Like I said, I was wrong. I assumed wrong. And you know what happens when you assume. That's the case here. I assumed. Something very rich and smoky and a little sweet. Let's pull up these notes. I'm very curious. I like extreme. Woody, aromatic, amber, balsamic, warm, spicy, earthy, smoky, fresh, spicy. Still Woody's number one. Yeah, it's, they're Woody fragrances for sure. So top, we're looking at cypress, elemy resin, and bergamot. That's the creaminess makes sense. In the mid, we're looking at Haitian vetiver, vetiver, incense, and orris. In the base is benzoin, sandalwood, and patchouli. Okay, the benzoin makes sense. The, the incense definitely does as well. And I get a little bit of iris smell. Orris, iris, same thing. Orris root is the root of the iris flower. Little bit, not much. It's not coming across really powdery. Very, very, very faint, powdery smell. The Oris isn't strong here. I wouldn't call this an Iris fragrance in any way, shape, or form. But it is coming across a little bit more on the smoky side, but not too earthy. The balance is very wet, very, done very well here. The sandalwood does stand out, though. It does have a nice creamy, woody edge. Um, it's still a very woody smell at the same time, but there's a richness... It does have a little bit of an ambery feel, but it doesn't smell like amber. Amber's not in the notes. That's probably the benzoin playing a strong role in creating this amber smell. Benzoin is known to have that characteristic in a lot of fragrances. Sometimes it comes across boozy. Sometimes it comes across kind of effervescent. Sometimes it's very vanillic. Sometimes it's very amber heavy. This is an amber heavy smell to this benzoin. This is a stunning fragrance. This is a great night out fragrance. I think this would be the one that's geared towards the evenings for sure. It's kind of a show out. It's better than I anticipated it to be for sure. This is the one that made me the most nervous that I assumed would be the earthy, dark, smoky, just funky on my skin type of vetiver. Not the case. Not the case at all. Ancre Noir has had time to dry. It has got freshened up even more. It's quite pleasant, but it's the most vanilla of the three, if that makes sense. Even though the Sport is the watery, fresh one, I feel like Sport has more character than the original, and Ally Extreme has the most character and depth of all three. And the thing is, for around 100 bucks, you can get all three of these in 100 milliliter bottles from Discounters Online. Right in the realm of $100, depending on where you can find them. And it's a pretty damn good bargain. It's versatile. There's no redundancy in these three flankers outside of their, they all are dominated by a woody smell. They all have a different character and take that same woody vetiver smell and veer off just a little bit to create its own fragrance. Like I said at the beginning of this video, 
I assumed incorrectly. And this goes right back into sample, try, don't take people's opinions, don't just look at a note breakdown or read a written review or watch a YouTube video and assume that that experience is going to be the same experience you have. Just like my current experience I'm having right now in this video is not necessarily the same experience you will have. So definitely get your hands on samples and try them. But I got to say, if I got to rank them accordingly, I like Strim. Yes, that's an eight out of 10. I think it's a very good to great fragrance. The Sport is probably the one, if I was to just get one bottle, I would grab that one because I deem it to be the most versatile and enjoyable. And then Ancre Noir is okay. It's a good fragrance, but it's it's the one I could leave out, to be completely honest with you. So, yeah, I'm actually thrilled that Chris sent these to me. Thank you, Chris, if you see this video. You just settled something for me. You helped me settle something that I was never going to take the plunge with. Because I always just assumed I wouldn't like them. And thanks to you sending these decants. Turns out, I think I need a bottle of Sport and I like Strim. But if I'm going to get the two, I might as well get all three. Well, that is my thoughts and feelings, initial impressions. On skin, on the fly review of all three Lalique Ancre Noir fragrances. The original, the Sport, and the I like Extreme. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. How many of you have these? Which one do you have? What do you think about them if you have all three? What's your experience with them? Do you like them? Do you love them? Do you loathe them? Everybody's experience is going to be different. Like I said, I'm very surprised at how much I actually like two of the three. I may have to get bottles of these in the near future. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these three and you give them a spray now, who knows? Might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.